we met Keeper George taking these four-week-old flamingos for a walk. Come on! They will eventually join the thriving flock of 70 birds at Flamingo Lake. The biggest step towards independence happens at eight weeks old. Today, these chicks are moving house. We've hand reared these uh, four Chilean flamingos. Um, we're at a point now that we can put them out with the flock, and we do that with like a soft release into the rest of the group. Flamingos don't respond well to change, so George keeps the process deliberately slow. spend two weeks getting used to this house. Then, when they feel secure, the doors are unlocked and they can join their fellow flamingos in the lake outside. But this door is key to the process of familiarization. It means that from here, they get a bird's eye view of the rest of the flock. This one across for the, for the day. Um, here they can sit just behind you. And yeah, so they can see what they're, they're going out into, basically. Two weeks later, and the chicks have just been released. Jean's with George, who's keeping a close eye on how they're getting on. So they just came out today? They have, yeah. That's exciting. Well, how are they settling in? Um, yeah, so they're a bit, bit sketchy at the minute. Um, they haven't actually eaten their breakfast. So even with some of the grey birds, when they lift their wings, I can see a flash of pink under there. Yeah, so they actually start getting pink plumage come through within a couple of months. And yeah, it starts developing under their wings. The last to go is kind of on their head, so you can even see like the previous year's babies because they're still a little bit grey on top. When will they turn pink? Um, it takes a good two years to, to two fully years? develop their pink oh. plumage. And watching their behaviours from here, they kind of all walk together in one direction. And is that something the chicks will start learning to copy what the other birds do? Mm. Yes, definitely. The drive for them to be part of the flock is really strong. Mm -hmm. um, like a natural instinct. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So they'll look for other birds and they still sleep in numbers. <laughs> it must make you feel great when you see the, the new chicks fitting in so well with the, the other rest of the flock and then seeing them getting into routine, especially when you've hand-reared these birds. Yes, yeah. so that's what you want when you hand-rear any animal. You, you want them to be live a normal flamingo life. Full-blown pink flamingos. Let's hope they enjoy this. Get them fed. Definitely. <laughs>